Okie dokie, word up, uh, fools. So here we go, we got some Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay, as I promised you. So here we go, here's the deliverance. Now, a lot of people ask me what my opinions on Modern Warfare Remastered are. As you know, I used to be, I wouldn't say I was an ambassador for the game, but I was. I, I used to big it up, you know. I used to always talk about COD 4, how I love COD 4, how in my opinion it's definitely one of the best Call of Duties. If not the best in the balance, Modern Warfare 2, I don't know, I can't make a decision on that. And, um, you know what, after however many years, 10, 11 years the, after the original, I really thought I would be all over this like a tramp on a, on a bag of discarded chips. However, it's not the case because it's not the original. That's, that's what I've been saying from the start. And do you know what? I like it. I actually like it. It's almost given me a reason to, uh, you know, to hold on to this copy of Infinite Warfare that I borrowed off my old pal. But um, again, it's it's a very similar thing. You, you have one experience one day and one experience the next day. I felt with COD 4, the original COD 4, it wasn't running off a dedicated server. I don't think the dedicated servers are up to scratch at this moment in time. Things are very choppy. Things feel good one minute and absolutely just oblivious the next. Whereas when it was PvP, you either had a great experience due to the fact you were quite localised in your connections, or you had an absolute nightmare because you were playing people from the other side of the world. Now it's almost like, and, and this is terrible because they always say be careful what you wish for because it may just come true and in this case it most definitely did. We asked for dedicated servers, they delivered dedicated servers and now pretty much most of us hate these dedicated servers. Um, but I think it's not the case that it is the dedicated server that is the problem, it's the kind of dedicated server. I keep saying look at Battlefield 4, look at Battlefield 1, you've got like 64 man players online, 40 players online playing on these dedicated servers and it runs pretty smooth you know there's there's very little hitches um, and when it comes to gunfights everything seems pretty fair and square for those people who have a net doom uh, I bet I bet they don't even have to go into their settings so much to piss around I had a massive break from Infinite Warfare and from Call of Duty altogether over the Christmas period and before and I've got to be honest with you I hadn't gone into my router settings for such a long time to adjust anything playing Battlefield 1 playing Titanfall 2 I didn't feel the need to go in and change anything, everything ran smoothly. The minute I got my hands on Infinite Warfare, I was straight into, you know, the uh, the 192.168 in the Google search bar, trying to get in there desperately to adjust things. So, yeah, it's not really feeling, um, feeling as good as Call of Duty 4, but you know what, it's okay. It has its days and it, it is quite fun and the music and all the nostalgia is there. There's just a few things that they've put in to try and bring it into today's level of gaming expectations that I don't think need to be there, such as really heavy flinch, the overuse of blood in the eyes when you get shot, uh, very snappy gameplay again, the, the graphics are very sharp but it almost makes things really difficult to see because the basicness of Call of Duty with the, the bland, almost like the bland maps made people quite easy to spot whereas now everything's very detailed, very dark and uh, people are quite difficult to, to pick out sometimes. I've had some very obvious deaths, what well, should be obvious deaths, that are in fact very unobvious. So that's all I think about that, that's all I'll say for now. Now, that being said, the one thing I did like when I came back to this as to what I didn't like when I first started playing this on release was that the M16 was a major problem, major problem. You know, it would feel that people were just aiming in one place and as soon as you would hove into view, one shot would be all it would take. The original Call of Duty 4 many moons ago had this issue with the M16 being overpowered. There was a lot of people on forums, in YouTube videos, all over the place. And if you remember I said before when I started playing Call of Duty 4, because that was my first online game, um, I was terrible. I was rubbish at the game. So I typed in, what is the best class? And straight away, M16, it's overpowered. Oh my God, you were wrecked with this gun. This remastered version was no different when it started, but I was very pleased to see, I, don't, I haven't seen any patch notes, so I don't really know, maybe I'm talking out of my ass here, but it would appear that they've taken the M16 and they've given it a bit of a spanking, they've given it a bit of a washing down, you know? Stop playing so bloody rough, play nicely with your friends, and that's what it seems to have done. So not many people are using the M16, I've noticed now, and that is very good. The only problem with that is now that the assault rifle users don't have that beastly overpowered class, is it's opened the door for the new quickscoping fraternity to step in and say, hey, do you know what, when this was out in its uh, original day, there wasn't many people doing this quickscoping. Now we've had however many 10 years of Call of Duty is where quick scoping has become uh, so much easier to learn you know there are just so many more people doing it whether it's easier or not whether you disagree the fact of the matter is there are more quick scopers than there ever have been in the world they are taking over they are dominating and now they've gone back to a 
very traditional game. They've taken a very traditional, in fact, original method, because this was where quickscoping started with the ACOG scope, and they've enveloped it within their arms and said, wow, we can fucking ruin people with this method. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Infinity Ward. So, you know, whether that bothers you, whether it's here nor there and a bit of the same old, same old, who knows? But that for me is something that I've just noticed. It doesn't bother me too much, but I've just noticed it. I've noticed there are more quickscopers. And like I say, this is just me critiquing the game. I'm not saying I hate it. I'm not saying I love it. I'm just trying to be as honest and as brutally honest as possible. You know, I can critique something without making out that I hate it. I can say, well, this is that, that, that. But you know what? I like it. And I don't really feel as though I should need to have to keep finishing every sentence with those words. But it's true. I have to pick out the things that I notice from a player who played this a long time ago, from one of the originals who was on Call of Duty 4. I can see where the differences are. And I can see some of the similarities that have stuck like bloody juggernauts. Oh my God. <laughs> How fucking frustrating when you come up against somebody with juggernauts. It's like people who are running juggernauts are a bit of a nuisance at the moment. And that was the one thing that the M16 was good for because it would seem to cut through the core of Juggernaut and um, with stopping power combined, put them on their back. So, you know, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The game is good. It's it's nice to see the game again. I don't feel that they have done the original much justice. It feels that they have, you know, I said before, it's probably more of a case of quality over quantity. You know, it feels that they've, they've tried to concentrate more on very specific things that don't need to be concentrated on in the first place. I think most people would have appreciated just seeing something close to the original and just a few tweaks here and there with the creases ironed out that would allow for a fun experience and introduce it to the to the sort of gaming world who've never gone this far back. Most people have started very late. They've started in Advanced Warfare. They've started a Black Ops 3. They don't know much about these games. And it would seem that a lot of people who have gone back to these more boots on the ground traditional games, they are loving it. But my God, these motherfuckers can. I don't know whether it's because they can't suss out the, the movement and it's like, oh my God, it's too basic for me. You know, I, I can't fly and surprise people. The element of surprise is gone. Now it's more obvious, turn the corner like real life and get shot in the face so in order to prevent that I'm gonna stay right back here in this nice corner behind this car or behind this box and I'm gonna wait for it to come to me wait for the war to come to me instead of moving towards the war itself now, I don't know that's just my opinion I've noticed people play it a lot more conservatively aka slash campy whatever you want to call it so yeah just my opinion I like the game but there's uh, there's areas where they could have improved and there's areas where they did improve where they didn't need to improve Typical Infinity Ward slash Treyarch slash Activision slash Sledge. I must, that's just what they do, you know? That's just what they do. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys, and let me know what you think about it. Apocalypse done.